So guys, part two of the Jaws Master build. I will throw up on the screen a total of what we made from the eBay sales minus eBay fees, minus postage, and that'll give you a total. Basically what I've then used that extra money for is to buy everything that is in these two boxes. So let's get started. First thing we got for the Jaws Master was a mint green pit guard from WD Music. Um, I might throw up a picture of the Jazz Master I've seen somewhere here. It was basically, um, it had a mint green guard and I thought that looks great. So, mint green guard. I got some just Fender strap pins. I got a Graftec string tree. Just thought I would give it a go. Found it on Amazon and just liked it. It was, yeah. Wanted to try Graph Tech. I've heard good things. Josh Master's gonna have a tremolo. Hopefully, this saves the strings from skipping and sticking because I got some vintage tuners. I got what are these? Clusen Deluxe Six and Line tuners. Found them on Facebook Marketplace. Got them. They're basically brand new. I got them for like half price and new. I think they're forty-five to fifty pounds new. I got them for like around £25. And what we're really excited about is this morning I went to the post office to pick up this package um, from James over at Home at Home. And let's see what's inside. Cool little sticker. Thank you for that, James. That's going on my hellboard case. A little note from James order sheet and just a <laughs> might be what I'm going for later on pick up wise. So let's open the box. I think the first thing will be the yeah, mint green control knobs. These are obviously to match with the pit guard. Um, I think they're from the same company. It's basically, I just need a volume and tone, um, so I've got a spare tone. So if anybody needs a mint green tone knob, let me know. And the big thing I was excited for, so when I was going through what uh, the Bravo unit I was going to be putting on the Jaws Master, uh, it really came between uh, this, a Descendant vibrato. Oh, it is. Comes with a little a sticker and the screws and adjustment uh, Allen key. Nice trim arm. Kind of like an off whitish style tip. And the main. This is the why can I not undo not steady? Uh, here we go, <clears throat> and here it is. Wow, the machine out of this looks great. I'll uh, throw up some some B roll of the actual unit itself, but if that focuses, yep. So, this is the descendant uh, tailpiece for the Jazz Master. It was between this or the Mastery and I could have got the Mastery in the UK, I think. It was around about the same price as this delivered. Um, but I just, I think when James first started getting them in and I've, I've known about Swope guitars for a while through Instagram and uh, I fired Chris over at Swope and Descendant a, a quick message, a couple of questions I had about this before buying it. Um, so I'm super excited, it looks really cool. I like that it's got the grooves for the strings so that I wouldn't need, um, it depends what bridge I go for, I haven't really decided on a bridge yet, um, but it would give me more downward, like a more downward angle at the back um, to keep the strings in the slots 
um, because I play it super heavy handed um, and I tend to, well I've played a Jazz Master before with a original like bridge, finish style bridge and the minute I hit a chord the, the top uh, the sixth string just come flying off the, the bridge saddle so I'm hoping that this will solve that problem for me depending on whatever bridge I go for. So again descending vibrato, can't wait to start putting this together because it looks great and another box from James which is my Lyran for the Jazz Master. James gives you a really cool instruction sheet, handwritten out, who built it, made by James for James. <laughs> um, a little sheet I really like. Uh, actually, I've, I got my own for James from a scrap, and I, th it, I think it was just before he started um, packaging it like this. But this is great. I just love that it's got the the model, everything pots and cups have been tested and everything is tolerant and the date that he made it which was a couple of days ago so that's super cool and the wiring itself is oh wow that is super clean that's just a washer for the switch tip that's fine yeah, that looks amazing. So basically this is a traditional style Jazz Master harness. Um, it's not that I couldn't have made this myself. I'm actually half decent with solar iron. But the time that this would take me, um, and yeah, I don't think I'd have the patience to do this cleaner job. This which James has done. Um, yeah, I'll fire up some some b-roll of this it just looks absolutely fantastic so this is what i've got so far i yeah i just really like the cops he's, he's even got his own his own branding on the capacitors which is amazing i love the the different cloth wiring the vintage style wiring uh, yeah i'm really i am super excited to get this start put together so the so the big thing is just now is that the things i've still to decide on are pickups and a bridge i fired up a poll over on my instagram a week ago pros and cons of mastery and stay trim um, i'm still deciding on neck wood just now and radius we are trying to get our hands on some roasted maple um, whether that comes to fruition or not I will hopefully find out in the next couple of weeks the fretboard radius I'm still trying to decide I've got a vintage telly at seven and a quarter which I love um, I've got an American telly which is nine and a half which is kind of like a good in between and I've also got my strap which is I'm pretty sure a compound radius from 10 to 16 it's super flat and it just lets me play absolutely everything on it. And it was Dave uh, Cherry uh, Cherry Guitars who made that neck for me um, and who's going to be making the neck on this one for me. So it's it's a little bit of a up in the air just now, depending on how the neck goes, depends on which bridge I'm going to get because the stay trim, I think I can only get a seven and a quarter and a nine and a half. Um, whereas the mastery is pretty much does everything. <coughs> The main thing for me would either be price to mastery to get the bridge and the thimbles in the UK is £190, whereas the stay trim is only £70. Um, I would still need to get thimbles for that, which would be an extra £25, so we're talking about £95 for a stay trim and thimbles compared to almost £100 more um, for the mastery. Again, I still don't know which bridge I'm going to go for. It's, I love the look of the mastery, I really like the look of the stay trim, it makes it, stay trim makes it look really period correct, 
um, kind of just looks like a Mustang saddle all threw up a picture of the stay trim here in the mastery just to compare and yeah and the next thing after that would be pickups I'm really not sure what I'm doing pickup wise I know I went to do traditional jazz master style pickups um, I love that sound so I think that's what I'm going to go for um, but I just don't know what to get if you've got any experience with jazz master style pickups fire me a suggestion in the comment box below I'm still deciding whether I'm going to go McNelly I've got McNelly pickups in my Duesenberg in my Strat already love them um, there's nothing wrong with them at all they're perfect I just don't know if I just want to try something else I know that Lawler make good Jazzmaster pickups I know that Seymour Duncan make the Antiquity um, series Jazzmaster pickups so I'm still kind of in that deciding phase of, of what I'm going to do um, so yeah I think it's coming along I'm uh, the body and the colour is basically being decided so that'll be in a reveal video once I get some pictures up from John down at Rexter Guitars on how it's getting along um, and hopefully in the next video we'll be picking out Neckweed um, Dave has got some uh, fingerboard uh, slot blanks for me to pick from before we get the neck blank up he's got some wood he found in the back of his workshop which is always a nice text to get because it's normally some really old and really nice uh, wood so I'm hoping in the next video we can see that in some of the body so yeah guys thanks again for watching thanks for um, following along with this little journey um, yeah, thanks for the, the messages on Instagram and the people's brains who I've picked over these past few weeks about parts and, and different things. I'm just super excited to start putting it together. Um, so if you've got any suggestions, pros and cons on mastery, stay trim, pros and cons on different Josh Master pickups, let me know, shoot a comment down below, give me a message through Instagram, chuck me an email, go to my website, fire me a contact form, whatever you need to do to try and get, to try and help me out, please do. Um, it would mean the world to me if you could give this video a like and subscribe to my channel down below. If you hit the bell icon next to this when you subscribe, you will be notified every time I post a new video and you can follow along this journey on the next step. So thanks again guys, thanks for, uh, giving it a watch and I'll see you next time.